Shalom. All honor, praise, and glory be to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Wahaku Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the faithful elect, those slated to be saved from the destruction declared from the beginning to happen to America, the daughter of Babylon, and different parts of the globe as well, but primarily here. Those slated to be saved being Yahshua Allah, a.k.a. Israel, the Israelites. The Israelites consist of the so-called blacks, a.k.a. Negroes, so-called Native American Indians, West Indians, and the Seminole Indians. The men teaching this truth across the four corners of the earth, primarily here in America, um, and the men, women, and children, the, the truth of your, the doctrine of your Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the men, women, and children of the Israelite nation um, that have turned back to their heritage and are in the doctrine of your Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, according to, in, in the faith, according to their works. All right? So, this is a lesson I want to, you know, just speak on pretty much is just, it's something I'm always in awe of, and that's how we literally have the thoughts of the Most High, man. We um we have access to His thoughts. I put it like that, and um, it's a very powerful thing, man. Is is it, the power in that is 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 unmatched. You know, there's no comparison for it. Now, with that, I will say. That we don't have all of it So with that I'll just start with this This is Syrac 42 And I'm going to start at verse I'm going to start at 16 The sun that giveth life Light looketh upon all things And the work thereof is full Of the glory of the Lord The Lord have not given Power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works. See that? It ain't say some. It just said not. Nah, it, it, it's it's that we can't declare. It's just we're not going to be able to declare all of them. So the Lord have not given power to the saints, and the saints are the Israelites. You know, I'll tell you that in Psalms the 50th chapter, uh, gather the saints together, those that have made a covenant with them, and 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 and, and that's um, shown. And Deuteronomy the fifth chapter in the first verse on down. And it also tells you that in Psalms the 148th chapter, you know, in the 14th verse. See what I'm saying? So the saints are the Israelites, man. Alright? So the it says the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, us in this truth, the Lord have not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, which the Almighty Lord firmly set it settled that whatsoever is might be established for his glory so yeah so the lord he made all things you see what i'm saying to be established for his his glory but we're not gonna be able to declare all these things because the lord is omnipotent man he's a, he's omnipotent you see what i'm saying and let's get that word omnipotent real quick just to show you the level the caliber of the israelites and their power. And why this is not something to take lightly. Omnipotent. It says, having unlimited power, able to do anything. Yeah, see, the Lord, he's able to do anything. Yeah. And it also says, he's supreme, the, the um, synonyms to this, this, this word is almighty, all-powerful, supreme, invincible, unconquerable. Yeah, so if the Lord is unconquerable, how would we be able to declare all his his works, let alone all his thoughts? So unconquerable. Unconquerable. Especially of a place, people, or emotion. Not conquerable. Yeah, and to tell you that, in Job the 11th chapter, who can by searching search out all the ways of the Most High? I'm going to get that real quick and jump back and continue. Then we'll get into the lesson. All right, so this is Job in the 11th chapter. And I'm going to start, start at, uh, let's see. Seven, can thou by searching 
It said, can thou by searching find out God, the Heavenly Father, the Most High? Can thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? You see that? It is hot. It is hot. It is as high as heaven. What canst thou do? You see what I'm saying? And the, the heavens is what we understand to be three of them, according to scriptures. You got the first heaven, you look outside to the second heaven, which is known as outer space, which most so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you know, have never been to. And the third heaven is where he abodes. So that's ultimately the heaven he's talking about. So it said, it is high as heaven. And that word for heaven right here is Shemayim, which means sky, right? In the Hebrew, it says, Whence, what canst thou do? Deeper than hell, what canst thou know? You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to jump back to the point. It says, the Lord have not given power to his saints to declare all his, might, all his marvelous works, which the Lord Almighty firmly settled, that whatsoever is might be established that whatsoever is might be established for his for his glory he seeketh out the deep he seeketh out the deep in the heart and the heart when in your minds you see what i'm saying the deepness of things and that deep is going into you know esau so just when esau thinks he's deep as it tells us in psalms the 64th chapter the thought of it the heart of every one of them are, is deep well guess what the lord he can find them out to perfection. He can go to the depths of Esau. So when De Esau has his technology, you know, his 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 glories, his um project blue beams, all these different, you know, things, devices, the Lord goes much deeper than that. So he seeketh out the deep and the heart and consider it their crafty devices. For the Lord knoweth knoweth, for the Lord knoweth all that may be known. You see, for the Lord knoweth all that may be known, and he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declared the things that are past. You see, so he, this is why we know this is a true history book. He declared, he declared the things are, that are past, because some stuff, according to history, could be made up. You see what I'm saying? And for it to come, and reveal it, and for it to come, so the things that's going to happen, history that's, that's getting ready to happen, events that are getting ready to happen. It says, uh, and once they happen, it's known as history. But anyway, uh, his story, see that? But anyway, the true story, and for it to come and reveal it, the steps of hidden things. No thought escapes him, neither any word is hidden from him. So yeah, man. And I'm going to jump down to, uh, I'm going to keep going. He, he garnished the excellent works of the wisdom, of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may not. May nothing be added, neither can he be diminished. And he had no need of any counselor. Yeah, the Lord doesn't need someone to instruct him. All, oh, how desirable are all oh, how desirable are all his works? Well, understanding is you should you should want more of the Lord, man. More of what he has to offer. You see what I'm saying? Because it's clearly a ton. It's is is it's unlimited. It's omnipotent. You see? It says Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. See, so you ain't seen nothing when you think you've seen all this we hold, man. But nonetheless, we hold the Lord's thoughts. So we can go ahead and get into this lesson. All right. This is Amos 4, and I'm going to get to the point. This is verse 10. It says, you know, I'm going to start at verse... Nah, I have smitten you with blasting and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards or your vineyards and your, and your fig trees and your olive trees increased. You see what I'm saying? So, because that's pretty much when your agriculture is no, is no longer any good. Once it's hit with mildew and, you know, the blasting and mildew, it says um, it's no longer usable. So, right when you came up, he said... When that happened, he did that. The palmer worm devoured them. Yet, have ye not returned unto me? Save the Lord. Yeah, and then when you go back to that Sirach, it tell you all these things the Lord he created, right? And they all are obedient unto him. 
You see what I'm saying? It's nothing. So that worm that he just mentioned is a is a is a, is a be, it was being obedient unto him. It says uh, this is Sirach 42 and 23. All these things live and remain forever. Yeah, we read 22 again. Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. So yeah, so that that worm, that palmer worm, he sent to do for us. He sent to do that. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain, have I slain with the sword. And have taken away your ho your horses Power It says and I have made the stink of your camps To come up into your nostrils Yet ye have not returned unto me You see And I have made the stink of your camps To come up to your, unto your nostrils Yet have ye not returned unto me Save the Lord Yeah the Lord creates the smell of dead bodies He can make you smell it you Pick up on it Take your smell away See this is all declared in his thoughts, but it's gonna tell you this. It says, I have overthrown some of you as God, meaning the power of the angels, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see? Because if he's talking, how can it say, I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew? You see? Because he was behind it and he sent the angels to do it. You see what I'm saying? And I believe it tell you that in the book of Psalms. <laughs> it tells you that in the book of Psalms. I forget what chapter it is, but it tell you that all the angels, they obey his command. You see what I'm saying? They excel in strength and they all obey his command. You see what I'm saying? The command of his word, which is, uh, you know, on a deeper level, going to something else, but I won't even allude to any of that. So yeah, the angels, they handle the Lord's commandments. I got it right here. Psalms 103 and... 20. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, ye his angels, that excel in that excel in strength, that do his that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. See that? Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. See that? It says, Bless the Lord, Yahweh, all his works in all places of his his dominion. Bless the Lord Yahweh, O my soul, O my soul. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. See that? It says the angels, and ye were as firebrand plucked out of the burning. Out of the burning. It says, Yet have ye not returned unto me, said the Lord. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee. Let me see, I think I might have missed the point. Let me see. Bear with me one second. Yeah, no, no we, we, that's right, that's right. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. So yeah, the Lord is telling you how he gets down, what, to, what you can expect of him, all in this word. It's going to tell you, for lo, he that formed the mountains and created the wind. And declared and declared unto man what is his thought that make it the morning so the Lord that make it the, that make it the morning darkness and tread it upon the high places of the earth the Lord the God of hosts or Yahweh the, the power of hosts is his name you see what I'm saying so the Lord declares unto man what is his thought his thoughts man and real quick we can get that word declare which I believe goes into truth, but we bring it out real quick. I'm not gonna pull it up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. All right. If it, if it allows me to, if the Lord allows me to, you can go look it up yourself because it's not giving it to me for whatever reason. I'll try one more time. Lock it, bear with me just one 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 moment.
But nonetheless, let's see what we got here. Amos 4, I'm going to just continue and declare unto man what is his thought. So, yeah, the Lord gives us his thought, man. You see? And I'm going to have to do this thing, you know. I had to do this the old fashioned way. Go back into my handheld dictionary. So when you go into that word declare, this is, in a, this is out the American Heritage Dictionary. Mm -hmm. Declare. All right. Declare. And declare says. Declare to make known, you see, to make known formally, officially, authoritative, authoritatively, to reveal or show, to make a full statement. See that? To proclaim one's support or opinion. So, yeah, so when the Lord declares, He's declaring, He's making something known, He's, he's authorizing, uh, um, He's revealing or showing that this is true. And then declare what? Well, it said his thought. So when you go into that word thought, the word we get here, right? Right? Thought. Let me just a moment. Jump back a little bit. Okay, thought. And it says, the process or power of thinking. You see that? A body of ideas. Consideration of the Lord. He, he, he make known to us his ideas. You see, a body of his ideas. His intention. It also says, consideration, intention, expectation. So the Lord, he makes known to us his ideas, his, his attention, where he has his attention on, and his intention his expectation yeah and the lord talks about how he's you know he wants to give us an expected end so yeah man now moving on to the next one this is psalms 33 and 11 it says the counsel of the lord standeth forever the counsel of the lord yahweh standeth forever the thoughts of his heart of his heart to all generations and when you go into that word heart in the hebrew it is lob meaning mind man you see what i'm saying or will seat of appetites desire so the counsel of the lord yahweh standeth forever the thoughts of his heart to all generations yeah the, the generations that's on the earth and will be known given through the israelites because it's given only to us this is baruch in the third chapter in the 36 verse i'm gonna start at 35 it says You know, I'm going to start at 33. He sendeth forth light, and, and it goeth. Call it it again, and it obeyeth him with fear. The stars shine. It said, the stars shine in their watches and rejoice. When he call it them, he, they say, when he call it them, they say, here we be. So the Lord calls the stars. So when he wants the stars to show, he tell them to show themselves. And when he don't want them to show, he tell them to don't show themselves. And they respond and answer him. As we read in Sirach, the 42nd chapter, they are all obedient and exist forever, remain forever. The stars shined in their watches and rejoiced. When he called them, when he called them, they say, here we be. And so with cheerfulness, they shoot light unto him that made them. This is our God. You see, this is our power. And there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. He hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. See that? So we have the Lord's thoughts, man. We have the Lord's ideas, his intentions. He declares these things unto us, man. What he approves, what he supports, what opinions he supports. You see what I'm saying? So if certain things our ancestors were, 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 right, uh, were dealing with in their life and using and going about and experiencing and considering. And the Lord allowed that to be wrote through the men that he used, the Israelite men that he used to uh, talk about these things, which are the prophets. You see what I'm saying? And that will show you right there, okay, the Lord deems that is right. So if they talked about 
different um different uh, essentials or functions uh in the in the in, in the what was known today as so called human life our ancestors you know uh would deal with it and then our prophets would you know speak on it and and if it was and if it's in here that's the lord uh, declaring his his uh support of that opinion you see what i'm saying which these are actually his thoughts you see what i'm saying so uh soup you know isaac was making lentil soup or something like that you see what i'm saying so it, it keep going. That's a that's a small that's just small. Cause I want you to think on this. So I ain't gonna say everything. Afterward, did he shoot himself upon earth? Afterward, did he shoot himself upon earth and converse with and converse with men? Yeah, cause he's gonna uh, in the kingdom he's gonna get re release these thoughts to the other nations through us through the Israelites. Baruch four and four. O Israel, happy are we for we for the things that are pleasing to God to the heavenly Father the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Al Shai are made known unto us. See that? So you can't, you can't even make that up, man. You know it's beautiful. Uh, yep. And that's 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 pretty much it. So make sure I cover everything. That you know that's 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 that, man. You know it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing else to say on it. You know. So it's just something you want to take 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 into consideration and, and all that. That's what we have. So you're able to touch every category that the Lord reveals in this book, which is a compilation of books, the holy books, you know, known as the Bible. I got one more scripture. This is Deuteronomy. These are all the Lord's thoughts, his ideas, his attention, what he has his attention on. That's what's in here. No matter if he used our people to write it or not, these he he, he yeah, that's what he cosigns. These are because these are his thoughts. We deal with what he wants to deal with. This is 29, De Deuteronomy 29 and 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord Yahweh, our God, our power. But those things which are revealed, you see that? Belong unto us and to our children forever, as he said, that we may do all the words. Of this law and this law is this whole book it's not just when you read that it's not just talking about the Ten Commandments that's a very ignorant thing because it's commandments this is a this is a book of law you see what I'm saying meaning this is the uh, instruction um, you know period this book is the instruction period so certain things you know you're instructed on. But anyway, this is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God, you see? And the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, West Indians, Seminole Indians, and Afro people scattered across the world. It says so-called Afro, etc., Fill in the blank. Afro, fill in the blank. Turn ye, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. You see what I'm saying? That thou mayest be illuminated. Woo. So yeah, he give it light. So Lord, once it's been edifying, I'm going to close this out. Give all honor, praise, and glory to the Heavenly Father. In the name of his Son, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. Till next time, Shalom.